Hey guys, I just got up. It's 5.10 in the morning. I like to turn on office lights. Today is Wednesday. I am going to work. It's my Monday for the week. I drink this coffee and get ready for the day. I promise I'll be much more lively in like 30 minutes when I have to leave. <laughs> um, for work guys, <clears throat> sorry, I'm just getting over being sick still, but for work, I really just do um, my brows and a little bit of foundation and sometimes, well, most of the time mascara. So I'll get ready in like literally 10 minutes. The part about um, the first day of work is you don't know actually where you're gonna go. All the assignments are at the front desk. Hopefully I have a good room and stuff like that. Just gotta work these three days and then we're off for four days again. So it's good stuff. Hey guys, I'm on a lunch break, but it's one o'clock, 1.17 to be exact, and so far is good. I'm scrubbing a lot today, so we had basically all GYN cases and then two hand cases, carpal tunnel. So um, just a few DNC hysteroscopies, um, a DNC suction, and uh, two carpal tunnel releases. So that's pretty much all I've done today. I'm on my lunch right now. And then after lunch, I have two more DNC hysteroscopies to do. Other than that, that's pretty much my day. Since it's only one o'clock after this room is done, it's probably me done a little earlier than three because we just have two more hysteroscopy and DNCs. I am probably gonna relieve someone somewhere. I don't know what I'm gonna be doing. I know there's an ortho room and I forget what the other room is, but there's two like later rooms today. So we'll see. Um, it looks like tomorrow I'm going to be scrubbing again as well, and that is okay with me. I actually like to scrub a lot, and sometimes, to be honest with you guys, I would prefer to scrub. Even though you're on your feet all day and you can't sit and it's just like you're sterile the whole time, <clears throat> I think scrubbing is sometimes mentally a little bit better for me, just because I don't have to always think about like, you know, running out of the room and grabbing this and doing that and thinking about like crazy specimen things and charting and you know like the list goes on for a circulator and don't get me wrong scrubbing can be hard as well but I feel like what I'm scrubbing today is pretty easy like you kind of just set up your table you grab what they need it's not like crazy cases like carpal tunnel and TNCs it's pretty nice so my shift is 6 30 to 5 p.m and I don't know if we're gonna actually be like late today so hopefully we can get out early Honestly, guys, like around the holiday season, I haven't really been wanting to stay anyway, and I've been sick, so I actually feel okay today. Like I'm not complaining about like <clears throat> my throat or the mucus. Yes, there is mucus and it's coming out, but it's really not that bad. Um, so I'm glad I came to work today, but I don't know. I guess I've just been thinking about lately, like I don't want to be an OR nurse forever and I really want to get into like nursing aesthetics and nurse injecting and when I graduate FMP school I really really want to do that as an aesthetic NP like that is my future my future is aesthetic nursing like 100% I see myself combining makeup and nursing 100% but for now I'm in the OR we'll see I'm not in a rush to leave right now because right now this job is helping me out with my school and all of that stuff so it's been good for me but um Am I 100% satisfied, I guess? No. Anyway, it is now 1.20 and I'm gonna go inside. I only have like 10 minutes left in my break, but 
I'm just gonna go back in, clock in. I just had a protein shake for lunch, and honestly guys, this is so much easier. I also did wanna say, I don't know if you guys saw, but I changed my name on my YouTube channel to my current last name. So I always had Kate D as my YouTube name, but when I got married, my new last name is Hawkins, and I figured, why not put my name on YouTube? Like, I have nothing really, really to hide, and this is who I am, I'm Kate Hawkins, so thanks for watching my videos, and um, please subscribe, guys. It would really help me out a lot, and I feel like when you subscribe, it makes me feel like I'm doing a good job, and you guys are enjoying my videos, especially when it comes to like the nursing content, which I'm gonna try to be putting out a lot more nursing content for you guys because I feel like that is my YouTube niche. That is what I like to vlog. Obviously like days of my life and just random stuff too but I think I'm going to start vlogging more nursing stuff for you guys because I feel like that's what a lot of you are interested in. Um, but yeah thank you guys so much for watching my videos. I'm going to head back into work right now because I only have like a few minutes. I hope you're having a good week and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. I just got off work. It is 4.38 p.m. So I'm getting off 20 minutes early and I am on my way home. It's gonna take about 41 minutes to get home today, which isn't so bad because some days it takes like an hour. The last time I talked to you was when I was at lunch and when I got back from lunch, I had one more case to scrub for GYN. So we did a DNC hysteroscopy and that really wasn't bad at all. It was like 10 minutes in and out. She had a polyp. So then after that case, I had to pick cases, which if you guys are familiar, um, usually at hospitals, your sterile processing department picks cases for you, like the supplies, the instruments, the packs, all of that type of stuff. But at the surgery center, you actually have to pick your room and like, or pick whoever's room for the next day. So there's eight rooms and you have to pick for them. And that's basically for the OR staff. So that could be scrub techs or the RN. So it's like, you know, what do you do? <clears throat> it's like kind of one of the bad parts about the job is always picking, but it's okay. Um, basically, so I picked a case and after that I had to go relieve somebody at three o'clock. So I went in there at like 2.45 to get them out. And it was actually for that ortho case that I was talking about. So we did a right shoulder rotator cuff repair. And um, basically I finished that with her. And then after I finished, they had one more case and I brought that patient in and my surgeon did it in like 45 minutes, which was actually really good and pretty quick. So yeah, and now I'm on my way home. That was the last case of the day I was in it and it really wasn't bad. I feel like when it gets later in the day, <clears throat> the staff that is still there is like the late staff and the late staff I really get along well with and I feel like at that hour, everybody's very helpful for each other and like with each other, so we all just wanna get out. So uh, it was really nice because I had like three other nurses there. Um, once my case ended, they helped me clean up the room really quick and we just got out of there, like we went home. But um, overall, it wasn't a bad day. Today was only my, technically my Monday, even though it's Wednesday. But I work tomorrow and Friday and then I'm done with the work week, so yeah. Um, by the time I get home, it's 5.20. I'm gonna eat dinner, I'm gonna shower, and then probably go to sleep early. Today was not bad. I will see you guys either later or tomorrow. All right guys, it's about nine o'clock at night and I just settled down in bed. I'm gonna turn off the lights and go to bed because I have to get up at 4.45 tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.